Hey guys, let's look at the 739 problem. This is a medium problem. It's called daily temperatures. And let's look at what companies are asking this question. So mostly Amazon, Linden, and Apple are asking this question. Um, let's see the problem statement. Okay, given a list of daily temperatures T, return a list says that for each day in the input tells you how many days you would have to wait until a warmer temperature. If there is no future day, uh, return zero for that particular day. Okay, given the list of temperatures, you should be output this much. Okay, I think there is a similar question where uh, just instead of calling it daily temperature, you can even call it daily stock price for a particular stock. And you would basically, the output would be how many days it would be to sell that stock if you have buy if you have bought that stock on ith day right you can replace temperatures with the stock price here okay so it looks like uh what we have here uh we need to memorize what temperatures we haven't calculated uh a warmer temperature or actually i i can just call it stock price that is better so what what stock i i have yet to be uh, yet to sell so I buy on 73 and I see a warmer temperature or a better price for a stock then I can sell this 73 right and in my answer I write one here because I know the I have stored the index of 730 in the in my memory okay now I see seven I, I store 74 right now I see uh, 75 actually so this is this is my memory okay and this is my answer we are here right now okay i see 75 so i go into the memory and i i also store the index here and i spit out this iterator minus the index of that array uh, index of the top element of the memory okay so it's one now i also delete this element uh, and put in 75 okay which has index 2 right now i see 71 right so i don't have any uh day in my memory which i haven't processed the answer for right so and i cannot use 71 to get the answer for 75 so i need to store 71 here and 3 oh uh, yeah and i i don't i cannot calculate the answer for the index 3 right now oh okay, yeah now 69 i need to store this so it looks like you are building a stack here right you're building a stack which has a decreasing order and whenever you get something like this now you get 72 now you get 72 so you can actually pop out or calculate answer for 69 and 71 right and put it here right uh, for 69 you can put like two days and for 71 you can put sorry for 71 you can put two days for 69 you can put one day and we still don't know the answer for 75 right okay so this looks like we just need to maintain a stack here okay oh, yeah. fine range T uh, temperatures okay and I also need to initialize the answer let's initialize to zero because there will be there might be something left in the stack at the end I guess uh, something like 76 uh, for which we cannot calculate the answer and we need to put zero instead so I just initialize the array to zero for everything length of t length of t okay now while we have something in stack if stack the of top of the stack is less than current temperature then we need to do stack of we pop the stack right and what we are storing this stack is the element 
and the index so what we need to compare is actually the element which is the first variable and what we get is the element comma index of that particular day right and when we do this we update the answer of index equals to i minus index right so we get here so 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this is index 5 and this is index 3 so you need to update the answer for 71 to be 5 minus 3 right and also what you need to do is now push this element push t of i comma i into the stack if you don't also if you don't find the top to be less than t of i then else you need to break this loop okay let's return this answer okay. Okay. let us run this code okay i forgot to comment on this thing okay for range of len of t okay Okay, let's try to submit this. Cool. Okay, accepted. So I think this is a simple problem for a stack. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.